So we're back for part two of Mega Man 1. So let's continue on. We're gonna take on Iceman next. So this stage, there's um, the Zoku blocks in this stage and it is recommended. If you want to take it the easier path that you start off with, that you come in here after taking a Electman stage and having Gutsman powers. So you can have Magnet Beam because does that save you a whole lot of trouble. As you will see as I use this later on in the stage. But yeah. It's a pretty cool looking stage because it's all blue and uh, blue is my favorite color. I don't know if that's any correlation to why Mega Man is one of my favorite characters, but you know, maybe it is. It's literally all blue, except for space. Yeah, we got little penguins flying over here. Well, I guess, yeah, they're flying, because penguins don't fly in the sky, they fly in the water. Ah. Yeah, Rolling Cutter takes, like I said in the last video, takes care of those uh, indestructible little, like, mine-looking things on the floor. And I'm over here like just wondering, how am I going to get to my regular power? Yeah, the sliding mechanics, just, they get me, man. They got me again? I literally just lost all the health that I had coming in here, so that was, that was pretty fun. But yeah, this is like the first example, so I wasn't dealing with this. Because we don't take care of that. If you don't come in here with command, that's just like, going to make it even harder. Because you have to deal with that the entire time while you're trying. If you do mess up the, the Yoko block process. I... I didn't even know that one was gonna appear there. I just kind of like got lucky. And did I was like yellow? Yeah, I'm like I'm over here. I'm like I'm not messing with this, and I miss. There you go. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that sucks about rolling color. It's kind of hard. So over here, I was like, you know what? I'm not doing it, and I didn't do it. And yeah, there you go. The first example of why magnet beam is so necessary in this game. And the ice mechanics made me slide off. Ah, that was. That was very disheartening. Because it throws you right here, and I gotta get rid, get rid. Luckily, Rolling Cutter and uh, Magnet Beam. Not the boss's weakness, because Magnet Beam. No boss's weakness. And I'm having like. I killed that guy just as I was about to land on him. Luckily, it didn't damage me. Yeah, I just decided to do this part legit. That's jumps, dude. Now that I know that that one spawned there, was, I didn't make that blind jump. But I assume that's what you were supposed to do, because by the time um the middle one appears, like. The one that you're on disappears. So, like you have to go for the jump anyways. That's pretty clever. It's like it's making you take a blind leap of faith. Yeah, but like, and then over here, filled with the magnet beam, filled with it again. I'm like, oh, you know what's fine. Ah, thank God. Luckily, the Yoko block saved me from wasting more magnet beam. So I'm gonna need it all over here. So over here, I take my time and just decide to not run on ice. You know, they put that there on purpose. Like, I honestly feel like they put that there, like, expecting you to use Magnet Beam, because, like, what other ability would you use that would be useful here? I mean, I guess Electmans, but, like, Electmans doesn't need... I don't know, for some reason, in the, like, the first couple of Mega Man games, maybe it's just this one. Like, you fall too, you fall down too fast, so you're not able to get that. But in the other Mega Man games, if you hug the wall, you're able to do that. That's something that you can do in Mega Man games that you can't do in Mario games, that's why... Mega Man's better than Mario. Like, unless if you can hug the wall like in the new Mario games, where like you wall slide. Um, you could, I think you could do that, but um, in the Mario games where you can wall slide, you just lose all forward momentum and you hit a wall, so you can't go forward and you just fall straight down. That's another reason why I like Mega Man over Mario. Because like, in Mario you got like that whole like, sp run speed mechanic and it just, it just makes a lot of the jumps a little bit more, like yeah. Then he's here with Iceman. So like, I'm gonna super cheap him off. I'm not even gonna bother finding him. It is super bad. Like, it's just- Look at that! And he's dead. Just like that. Like, this game is so achievable. It's such a good game. <sighs> this game is fine. This game is good. But yeah, hopefully this doesn't- uh, Hopefully the, the PS4 isn't that loud in the background. I'm, I'm like re-recording this through SharePlay just because if I do it while I'm playing the game it gets loud. But apparently since it's starting to be hot anyways, it doesn't matter. <sighs> I was contemplating whether to buy a PS4 Pro. Cause like I'm pretty sure if I, if I play like crappy games like this, well not crappy games cause this game is amazing. But I meant like, you know, not graphically demanding, not graphically demanding games like these. Um, it shouldn't be loud, right? Like, I can understand it going loud if I do games in 4K, but what happens if I use the PS4 Pro just to play games in 1080p? 
Like there would be no reason for it to be loud, right? Because it's not even like using all of its power. But I don't know, dude. That's... I haven't asked around because the only people that I know that have a PS4 Pro, um, they use they use it for 4K. So which makes sense, you know, why the heck would you get it and just use AAP? But I don't know. The only thing that's making me not switch from it is the fact that I have a 2 terabyte hard drive on my PS4 and um... Yeah, you know what? That little thing flickering, you know, I don't notice that. I'm not sure like if it pops up in the actual video when you watch it, but like... I don't notice, like, you see, you see how, like, things just disappear? I don't even know, I don't even think that happens when I was actually playing the game. I think it just recorded like that, because it does 30 FPS, it doesn't do 60. So maybe it just happened to miss out on the frames. That is so weird. I'm pretty sure I would have noticed something like that, like, half my health bar missing. Like, look, I'm almost dead. Yeah, that's probably just, like, a recording thing. It records at 60. I mean, it records at 30 and the game's 60. That's so weird. Yeah, and over here, like, oh, let's talk about the stage, I guess. So this is Fireman stage. As you can tell, I totally messed up like four or five times. Yeah, you see, that fire did not do that as I was playing through the level. Yeah, it's probably just the recording, the 30 FPS recording. That's very weird. This part right here is hard. Like, you have to have perfect timing since you don't have a slide. So, but if you have Magnet Beam, you can just do that, which is pretty cool. It's all, uh, you know, fine and dandy. And we got those bombs back. They're always fun. That's crazy. Last time I tried to record this, the audio wasn't playing as I was talking over. And that was just made the game so weird. But now that I'm recording this, it's actually doing it. I don't know if it was like a bug or something, but I'm glad that it's actually playing the audio. It makes it more fun too, to talk over. So I can hear the music. It's not just complete silence with my voice there. Like the music's so good. I mean, obviously, it's not like amazing or anything compared to like the later ones, but like, as a game by itself, the music's good, you know. It's like what was that? I was playing The Witcher, and my God, I can't stand the music in The Witcher, dude. Like it's just, like it's just, it's it's disgusting, dude. I don't know, man. Maybe it's just because I like, you know, I grew up with retro games. That's just good. But anyways, a long hallway followed by Flame Man. So this guy, this guy's, yeah, I, I loved it up there, and I messed up here. So I just said, this guy fires super fast, as you can see there, and like I just don't have the time for that. So as he's running away, he just cheats him. So if you guys ever had trouble playing through Mega Man 1, and you guys pick up the Mega Man Legacy Collection, you guys didn't know about this list, which you probably should have by now, because you know, if you like Mega Man, you probably see other people go through it and stuff like that. You should probably do that. It's done by pressing the quick, s by pressing the select button, whatever it is. If you're on the PlayStation, it's uh, automatically uh, mapped to L1, since the touchpad is um, like the whole like save state or like in-game menu. But yeah, so we killed all the bosses and Dr. Wiwi has appeared and I don't know why it's taking so long but it is okay that was so weird alright anyway awkward silence I got my mic's about to die as I'm recording this see how long it lasts that noise is the most annoying noise in like Mega Man ever like in the, the NES classics. Oh my god, dude. It's like just as an equally annoying as that warning sign. I don't know why they adopted that warning sign in like Mega Man uh, X. Like, I don't know if Mega Man X4 did it first or if Mega Man Zero did it first. But like, it's so annoying. <sighs> I, I really don't like it. It just... Like, I don't know if they try to make it like more fancy, but that is something that the games could have just like honestly done without. None of the other games had it before. I don't think anybody likes it. Or like, I don't think anybody would defend it. I mean, if you do them, then like, there's something wrong with you. Not really, but like, it's so bad. But anyways, so you can use Gutsman here, but that's a waste. You can just use Electman and like, waste like five. This area over here just always gives me trouble, man. It's just, it's really bad. So I get stuck here for a couple, maybe like a minute. God, this is... It's totally the latency. It's totally not due to my lack of skill. Um, 
you know, since this is done through, you know, the Mega Man Legacy Collection is done through emulation and not like real hardware. Because, you know, why not just emulate it? It's more cost effective than like actually building it up and down. But um, so I just decided to take the hit and then jump through and um, yeah, that worked out. Hopefully I tried to get that house. So I magnet beam through the wall and it doesn't work. So I was like, oh my god, you have to make like a, f you have to make like a perfect jump. I don't know if it's frame perfect. I doubt it's that tight. But like you have to make like a really tight jump in order to get that. And I'm like, nah, man. I wasn't even gonna try. And I forgot that when you switch powers, you teleport down, so, because you're switching powers and, uh, you lose, you stop holding onto the ladder. Yeah, Legman's power is just so good to go through the stages, so if you're ever having trouble going through the stages and you have a Legman's power, then that's not the enemy's weakness, the boss's weakness, just go ahead and use it. It's, it's so good, it's so strong. Like, it's just, it's just one of those weapons that will help you go through the levels really easily. Yeah, I see here, I clipped it again, I'm like, you know what, why not? And I believe I did this all on one, like, like, I don't know if I said it in the beginning of the video, but, like, I had, like, two, three game overs in Gutsman stage, and then, like, I just restarted the recording, and I'm like, okay, I'm not putting those in, that's, that's terrible. And then I start off with, uh, Bomb Man, because I know Bomb Man stage is easy, I'm like, you know, I don't know if I'll be able to take out the boss, but at least the stage is easier. And then, so, I don't know if this is done on one continue or not, but, if it is, it's pretty good. I remember when I beat this the first time, I didn't even bother... Like, I just save stated, since the game offers save states. One, they're not called save states, but it's basically what it is. So I just did that. So they're not called um, save states, but yeah, there's just it's a save function. We'll just put it that way, like what modern games have. Like, basically what Mega Man Battle Network games have, but like, way more advanced because you can actually save anywhere. It's the most amazing, it's the single-handedly most amazing feature in this collection. Because, like, if you've ever liked Mega Man, you were never able to beat it. Or if you don't have the time to beat it. Like, and you just want to see what the ending is and do it for yourself. Like, you can just abuse, you can just abuse it. And it's just, it's the most amazing thing ever. Like, you too can beat a Mega Man game. Like I said, uh, so, I, I, so this playthrough is like the first playthrough I ever did of Mega Man 1 where I did not abuse it. Because, like, I played it back in the Anniversary Collection. What was it? That was released on the Xbox, the original Xbox. Well, you know, also the PS2 on the GameCube, whatever. But I had it for the original Xbox. And, um, I could never beat it. I think I made it to the end, but, like, I just couldn't do the six boss fights with Wily in the end. Like, I just... I couldn't do it. It was just... I was a kid. You know, I didn't know any better. Not like I'm any better now, but I guess I'm good enough to beat it! Because I know about... Yeah, so this boss is just... This boss is just... This boss is just no good. You, you're like... You, I've never attempted to beat this boss legitimately like without using the feature like the other bosses yeah I beat them legit because I didn't even know about this this pause glitch back in the soft pause or select pause glitch back in the day but like once I found out about it I'm like yeah no I'm using it so there you go that's what you're supposed to do it's like you're supposed to time for it and that's it look at that the hardest boss in you know the hardest boss one of the hardest bosses in classic Mega Man just like that taken down just like that with select pause Easy peasy, let me squeezy. But if you haven't noticed with a, a, a drop in my quality, or maybe it's just as decent, it's because my other mic, my headset died, so I'm just using regular earphones with the mic. But yeah, I, I think that's worse. But let's keep continuing on, man. That is. You see, I pressed the touchpad because I was just so like, wow. It's so wow. It's just so wow. So I, I lied. I, I did go through a continue. That's very disheartening. Well, whatever, it's fine. I got back on my my energy. So we are going through a uh, Wily Tower, Wily Castle. This this area is just you gotta be very patient here, or else you will be led to cheap deaths. And it's just as you can see, it's just it's, it's no it's no good. That's no good. I just decided to take this guy on without his power because you know there's no gutsman rocks to throw at him. So gutsman's you're forced to basically fight him Buster only. And over here, like, you can abuse the iframes. So you can shoot three bullets, and you can select soft pause. I just wanted to test it out. And I'm like, where am I supposed to fall? I fall on the left hand side. So you can, you can abuse soft pause. Select pause. God, I keep calling it soft pause. You don't want to just keep calling it soft pause for the sake of it. 
so like their iframes go up but the bullet's still on the screen. It is... This game is revolutionary. <laughs> ah, too bad the other games don't have that. Yeah, here's a leg man. I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not dealing with them. I think, I think you take more damage running into his. I, I don't know. I remember being like three, four shotted by him, dude. If you get hit by his elect, elect beam, but if you get hit by him, you take less damage. So like, if you, if you want to, you can actually just get hit by him instead. Because I think like three, four hits from the rolling cut. I jumped. I swear, I jumped there. It, it happens to me like in almost every platform that I play. I don't know if it's the latency. If I just happen to push it like at the last pixel, because, because like I said, this is you know this is emulation, because you know the Legacy Collection on PS4 on you know Xbox, whatever the heck they released it on, is you can't make that jump. You can't make that jump. Is um it's all done through emulation, because obviously it's not real hardware. You know real hardware being the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Two game overs in one stage. Granted, the first game over was due to only having no lives left over. <sighs> this is what happens when you're not quiet. Like, I don't know if you guys play Dark Souls, but if you guys play Dark Souls, like, you know, like, you, you die, so, like, you just try to run back to your spot and go pick up your souls and everything, right? And you just run through the enemies and not even bother trying to kill them, like, you know, patiently. And then you end up dying! Because, like, a way you've never died before because you don't bother taking them all out one-on-one -on -one or taking your time going through it. Like, this is exactly what happened here. Ah, I just referenced Dark Souls because, you know, I like the series. The first one's the best one. And, um, it's just one of the more recent games, I guess. Yeah. Seeing that, uh, Dark Souls 1 Remaster is gonna be coming out. And, uh, yeah, this, this fight of, uh... I'm over here trying to cheap him out because, yeah, you see, look at the iframes, look at that, it's like the three shots, look at that, it, it was about to go by, ah, it's so good, ah, yeah, that, that fight went super bad compared to the first one, I think I was just disheartened by, by what happened to me, it was, it really did hurt my soul, oh God. like, now I, I learned my lesson, you cannot make the jump from down, that is, like, why do they even put that there, I guess if you get hit as you're jumping, you land on there, maybe. I have no how, so you know I'm gonna abuse the. I didn't even bother going for it. You know I'm gonna abuse the crap out of this. Look at that! Look at that! Three hits, and he's that's actually three hits. Wow! So he three hits you, you three hit him. I guess that's fair. Except that his is easier to hit than yours. Yeah, we're back here again. <sighs> My God, dude. And you can't destroy those little bomb things when they're in the air. I don't even think you shoot them at all. So I'm over here trying to be cheap with metal. Well, not cheap, but trying to cheese it, I guess. The proper word be cheap. This, this isn't no PvP game. Can't be cheap in PvE. Anyways, I'm over here trying to cheese this. Um, and I did. I, I cheesed it success, successfully. God, I can't pronounce words right. Yeah, so there's a life over there. And you can only get it with the leg beam, but you know, if you got this far, you have it anyways. Magnet beam. So luckily, I had some left over. And I was like, you know, worth it. I believe the reason why I didn't jump off to the left there was because there were spikes waiting at the bottom. Yeah, so you see, you could fall and skip that whole room and then just magnet beam over. But like, eh, you know, I'd rather take the right side. I did something pretty ballsy there. I could have died. But luckily, you know, they have a time out. Oh, yeah, I just, I saw them on the wall. I knew they were going to shoot. I just jumped off. I don't even know why I bothered going for this energy, but I was like, you know what, why not? I think I get like maybe one more game over. Spoilers! Yeah, I don't know, dude. Mega Man. If I do do, because I'm probably going to go through at least all 10. At least try to. Even if it passes through me, because, you know. It's very hard to get motivated. It's like once you start up the game, it's fine and it's, you know, it's fun. But like, starting up the game is probably like the hardest part for me. Like starting up any game. So here you fight against yourself, and you know what? I just wasn't having it. I have no health. I did not want to take another death, so I just cheese the living like life bar out of him. Oh, I messed up. Yeah, so I literally bit him with one bar of health. Yes, I did this, and you will have to sit here and suffer through that as I had to. Oh, yeah, you see, so. Oh! Oh, did you see that? I don't know if you guys saw that, but he shot me. 
And I think because I select pause, soft pause, I don't know what happened, but he basically shot me. And because I select pause, I guess like his his ability just disappeared or something. I don't know what happened there, but it was amazing. And I beat him. Look at that. Only got touched once. Game's easy. And the game glitched all over there. But yeah. Easy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Too good at this game. First try. First try zero deaths against myself. See, man? They say your greatest enemy is yourself, man, but I just beat myself. I have no more enemy. I have no more great enemies left to face. <sighs> so here we are. In the tunnels. The pipe system? I guess it's supposed to be a pipe system. I don't know. And I got hit. Of course I got hit. It's like, you're gonna get hit with like, the dumbest thing. Yeah, but Elect Beam is just too good to not use throughout the stage if you know it's not like anybody's weakness. It's just so good, dude. Like, I think those things take like, what, four or five shots? Maybe even more. And if you have Elect Beam, just one shot, one shot, one shot, one kill me. But yeah, so, I'm over here being beast. And I think I get hit a couple times. <sighs> yeah, the beginning started off really promising. Just shoot ahead because you know they're gonna keep spotting in front of you. I'm holding right this entire time by the way. I don't think I'll be running this fast if I wasn't. And I think that's the reason why I get hit by a couple people. Yeah, see that one I was just supposed to roll under so. Ooh, screen scroll save. I would've gotten hit by that but since I was in a screen transition, I guess it gave me iframes or something. So as you can see here, this boss's weakness is um his guts ban. But um as you kill each form or each new bubble. Um God, that looks like an enemy from Battle Network. As you kill each new bubble. Um No, that look that, you know what that looks like? That looks like that um I died. That looks like that um that battle chip bubble wrap from Battle Network. That's what it is. Well, it's not even an enemy, it's just the battle chip bubble wrap. Because there's like a little machine in there, that's crazy. See if I would have gone through Mega Man 1 after playing Mega Man Battle Network, I forgot which one I had it in. I've only played 3, 4, 5, 6, but it's been so long since it was only on the Game Boy Advance. And they haven't ported them over to anything else! Cough. 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 Yeah, sure, they released it on the eShop on the Wii U, but like, you know, like, I want it to be like legit port and like have online again. Yeah, so like after you kill like 2 or 3, I believe you have enough just to kill it. And like I said, they do come off faster. So it's recommended to kill one or two if you want to have an easier time. I mean, I, I think you have enough how. Dude, but yeah, look at that beautiful, beautiful toss. Look at all my harm. Look at all my arm is like curled up into me as I throw it. It's such such a good animation. It, it's funny. I find it funny. <sighs> but yeah. Mega Man 1. Might, might be considered... Oh, right, there's no ice... There's no invincibility frames against spikes in this game. It's like, yeah, sure, you're, you're immune to damage, but you're not immune to death. And that feels bad. And happened to me again, look at that. I was just so in disbelief. Like, I wasn't trying to press save data or anything like that. I was just like, wow. This is when something, you know, like, when something, when something dumb happens twice to you in a row, you just, like, push any button. And since the touchpad's, like, the biggest... It happened to me again. Since the touchpad is, like, the biggest button on the PS4, I just always end up, like... I don't know, I don't know if you guys do this, but like sometimes when I'm not doing anything in the game or like I have my, my fingers free on the controller for the most part, I just end up like tapping the middle button just because I can. Obviously if it does nothing I do that. But no yeah, it's very annoying. I don't think you could switch that uh, that function just to any other button if I could. I think I tried checking, I'm not sure. Yeah, those people are at those people are the means, you know, to not say a worse word. <sighs> Yeah, so in that part you just wanna just just bother taking all of them out. You do not wanna feed. Yeah, that is so weird. You do not wanna feed though. Hey, it's guts man. You do not wanna feed, it's feed like like it's some PvP game. You do not wanna die to them a couple times, man. It's just You know, just very disheartening. Yeah, this long wave of corridors. They drop nothing, of course they drop nothing. They're over here taking away my health, man, and they give nothing in return. All they do is take, 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 but they don't give. Why do they do this? Yeah, so like you're supposed to wait for that panel, but I was like, nah. I barely made that jump. I could have died. Yeah, so like I probably saved like 5, 10 seconds there. I'm pretty sure in speedrun stats, like unless it's like they glitch through this area, that's probably what they do as well. 
It's just, it depends what timing you get there. You could be lucky and get there just as it's coming by, so you won't even have to waste it. So this is the boss gauntlet. In the first one, it was done a little bit differently. I think it was introduced in the second one, where um you actually fight them. Like, you know, you go to a thing, there's a lot of teleporters. I think that was introduced in the second, in the second Mega Man game. And this one is just like that. I was trying to figure out what his weakness was. And apparently one letter isn't enough for me to figure it out. I'm just over here contemplating. I'm like, what's, what, what's his weakness? I'm like, oh, right. Oh, that's why. I beat him with, um... I beat him with the Mega Buster. That's why I was like, what the heck's this guy's weakness? Oh, yeah, and I tried to cheap him out. I'm like, you know what? I already killed you. I killed you legit. This guy actually went down legit. So did Ice Man. Yes, I think you only fight four people here since you already killed two people earlier. Yeah, you see, I, I'm, I'm not gonna fight this guy legit. Nah, man, that guy, that guy's, that guy's flame is way too high. I'm blaming on the latency. I think I got hit anyways. Oh yeah, and they don't drop you health. Or if they did, I was camping in the corner, so like I wasn't able to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, so this, this guy, this guy's a joke. I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I didn't even bother picking up the house because I was just standing in there. <sighs> Yeah, see I'm over here trying to like abuse the the explosion radius because apparently hitting him directly with it does nothing. You have to wait for it to actually explode. It's cool though because like an, an, an ability could be inside you. You know like you get hit, you have your iframes going on and the ability still in you, you know or, like the projectile still in you. But even though your iframes are gone, the ability doesn't hit you again. It still hits the boss again so I think that's pretty amazing. Like, if it worked like that, depending on how you got hit when you tried to spam it, it wouldn't have worked out so well. So, I could have sworn the first time I played this game, there was no checkpoint between this and the wave, but maybe it's just my last life and I just didn't want to deal with it, so like, I just... But I could have sworn if every time you died, you had to fight all four Robot Masters and then him right away. But, I die here and I respawn like right before and I'm like, what? That's easy! That was the weirdest thing ever. Oh yeah, <laughs> So over here I'm just searching up the uh, the boss's weakness because I'm like what is it? I should have probably done this all beforehand but you know, you know who's, who's got the time to search this up beforehand? Since uh but yeah Mega Man Mega Man 2 is probably gonna be live streamed just for simplicity purposes. Hopefully the the PS4 isn't that loud. Yeah so I found out it yeah I don't know why. Oh that's why right right I can abuse I can abuse frames. I think I still ended up dying. I remember I died. I don't remember if I did. But yeah, this is... But yeah, dude, abusing the iframes is amazing because Flame Shield, like, you know, cuts around you so you can hit it multiple times. I... That was the most anticlimactic death. I wanted to switch to the actual power, which I can't remember. Yeah, you see, I could have sworn it spawns you, right? And then you have to fight the bosses again. I'm not sure if they added that on this one if it was originally like that, but from what I remember, I could have sworn you have to fight all four and then this boss right away. I said maybe it was my last life. I didn't bother. But yeah, so... <sighs> yeah. I switched to the wrong power. And I threw the bomb. And I was just standing there and I'm like, I'm dead, aren't I? Like, there was literally nothing I could do. Because you can't... I think when the power's on screen, you can't, um... Yeah, I, I shot it the wrong way. Yeah, so I think I do... Yep, I missed. I think I do end up spamming it closer towards the end when I was about to die. I tried not to. I was like, you know what? And I was like, you know what? No, I can't. I can't risk it. I don't. I don't want to die again. I want this game to be done. By by this point, I think I was like, I was like 50 something minutes in already, and I'm like, I'm done with this game. I know it's cheap, super cheap. But look at that. It's like, how could you not abuse this? It takes skill to spam that button as fast as you can for it to like still register being in there and not like, you know, move out far away now. But yes, bow down before me. For I am more than a machine. Spoilers. Mega Man 7. Spoilers. You know, if I ever get there. So hard to find motivation to do anything. But yes. We have completed. Mega Man 1. So that's one game down and it's already like... By the time this gets uploaded, it'll be like, what, May, I mean, like, yeah, May 6th, 7th, 8th. That's like, we're already, the first week in, like, the first week already ended, and I got, like, one out of the ten games that I'm going to be doing. I'll be doing more, but, you know, I only have access 
I can only record decent quality. Like I said, the other ones will be like phone record quality. And that, that's gonna be terrible. Nobody wants that. You guys can let me know in the comments below though if you guys do want that. I, I will be down to do Mega Man X1. I'll be down. I'm pretty okay at that game. I don't think I'm as good as I remember being because I was never that good. But you know, I could probably bust out Mega Man X1. X2 and 3, that, that's a little bit more of a stretch. Like, I, I don't feel too com- I never played those games too much because like those games were like harder than one. One was like the easiest X game. I feel like it's the easiest game from like 1 through 10. But that's funny because like Mega Man 1 is, cons you know, Mega Man 1 is hard. Mega Man 2 is hard, in my opinion. And like Mega Man 3 is hard because like, you know, the dock robots and stuff. Mega Man 4? I think is okay. Five and six are easy, so like in my opinion, I like five and six the most, just because like you got the E tanks. Well, Mega Man Two introduces the E tanks, which makes all of them automatically bet easier. But yeah, five and six were just. That's one of the reasons why I like five and six, just because of like it's so easy. Like it's a game that I could have probably legitimately beaten back there, you know, with my lack of skill. But yeah, so we just got Mega Man running through the foreground backgrounds. Running in the foreground, through the backgrounds, not through the backgrounds, but like, with the backgrounds passing by him. So like, wherever he was at, he's running, he, he ran all the way back to the house, dude. That's, that's legitness, but yeah, presented by Capcom USA. Yeah, thank you for releasing an amazing game. And I'll see you guys next time on that live stream. Woo! Yeah, and uh, and uh, bye, why you still guys stay here? Bye!